you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm be going over the cheapest and fastest training available on the market right now. Now, training has been fluctuating quite a bit from week to week. Now, that's mainly because right now, at the point we are in Madden, the kickoff promo wasn't really that much of a promo to many people, as you can tell by just YouTube and everything. People are not caring about Madden as far as kickoff right now. But, but, the reason it's changing so much is since there's no consistent promo that keeps pumping out content, pretty much when there is a new content, the training drops tremendously. And then when there is no content, the training goes up tremendously. So pretty much every week on Friday when the Mutt 10 player drops, if it's a banger like Vic was, the training dies like it goes really really cheap and then when there's no content such as like a monday which is flashbacks and heavyweights like flashbacks and heavyweights do bring it down temporarily when they first get posted but typically unless there's like a banger training won't stay down now when mutt heroes drops and they're consistently week in and week out dropping new players and killing the market more that is when training will be a safe and reliable way to just buy training and you know start upgrading your team more but for the time being with how stagnant the game still is the game really hasn't started yet a lot of people think it has and the game hasn't started yet the game starts when the first big promo starts, which is typically Mud Heroes. And then, obviously, the Halloween promo is typically awesome. And the Blitz promo, the Thanksgiving promo. There's so many good things that will be coming, but for the time being, we're stuck with this crappy kickoff promo. This is ever, the kickoff promo is not really a promo. It's like just a, a starter kit to get into the season. And then the good promos are coming after that. And then, obviously, the Christmas promo, which is awesome. But until we get to that, guys, training has been fluctuating. And I'll go over all the training values right now. They are up a little bit, but I'll go over them in a second. I got my notepad right here. But before we get into the video, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We are 20 subs away from 8K. Let's make it happen right now in this video. Everyone watching, let's go over here. Let's go hit the mark. Comment down below what you guys have been buying for training, like what you think is your best option for training. I personally like the 88s, so but we'll get into that. And then if you haven't already, go like the video. Let's get this video to 200 likes, boys. And a quick little announcement. I did just re-sign my sponsorship deal. I am going to be... For the rest of the Madden 20 season, signed on with Buy Madden Coins, which is also affiliated with Insta Madden Coins, whatever. And that is going to be my sponsor for the year. They, they're awesome people. They hook me up a lot. They're, they're great people. We have been in communication for like almost a year now. They, they, they sponsored me when I only had like 300 subs. They've been good to me. So I re-signed with them, guys. Make sure to go down below. Use code Poodle at checkout. Get your discount at, and go buy some coins, guys. I promise you buying packs is not compared to buying coins much rather go use the go use the code go over to their website trust me you get way more bang for your buck when you buy coins now guys get into the video i did drag this a little bit didn't mean to but i had to announce that so let's go over to the auction block and start with the 80s obviously i got my notepad so 80s do quick sell for 190 training so obviously the way this math works is that you take how much they sell for you divide it by the training value and that's how many coins for training so approximately 80s at 12k just about when you look them up individually it is 63 coins for training now the 81 sell for about about 13k so when you take 13k and you divide it by 265 uh, training which is their training value you get 47 coins for training which really isn't that bad is it the best no but it's better than some or at least the 81s are horrible i mean 80s are horrible don't buy 80s 80s are the worst training value in the game they typically are and that is because they're kind of overpriced for what they are but they're still elites and elites are still very usable right now especially base elites as the game gets older and basically it's less usable, they market the, the floor will bottom out and they'll be very cheap and they'll be a good value. Not uh, 82 is for 19k. You divide 19k by 365 training and you get 52 coins for training. Again, a horrible training option. Do not use 82s. You're better off selling the 82s and then getting a better value. Now 83s come in at about I believe like 24k. Yeah, so about 24k. So 24k divided by 505 training is 47 coins per training. Again, 47 so far is tied for our best with 81s. Now let's get into the 84s. 84s are, I believe, typically better. 84s go for 32K. So 32K divided by 700 training, which is their value, is 45 points for training. So, so far, that is the best. But if you guys know anything from weeks past, this is not the best training values overall yet because the best values we had was when Vic first dropped. When Vic first dropped, some of these were hitting like 39 and 38, which was very like tremendously low 41s. That is where we want to be aiming for training right now. But for the time being, since there's been no bangers that have dropped, typically the training values are a little more pricey than usual. Now, 85s come in at about 46K. If you filter this out, it's going to be 45, like right there. 45K for 85. You divide 45 by 970, you get 40 one coins for training so so far 85 seem to be the best especially if you can find them for below 45k below 45k for any base legends piece is going to be one of the best training values in the game 
This actually, if the math is correct, is the best training value in the game that I see on my chart right now. There's some that you can buy more in bulk, but if you have to find them for this price, obviously, right? They're not always gonna be here, but if you can find them for below 45K, especially on Legend Saturdays. Legend Saturday is a great day to snipe out Legend set pieces like Gale Sayers, Premier right here, and get them for below 45 and get an awesome training value and get an awesome return on what you spend on your training. Considering once you buy training, you're out of those coins. So it's always good to get exactly what you need. Now remember guys, be actually let me let me finish with this and i'll get back to that point in a second so 86 overalls you want to be looking flashbacks in my opinion are typically the best training values when they drop when they first drop a lot of them get posted because people are pulling the new ones and they're pulling the old ones so they start selling them quickly flashbacks and heavyweights when they drop are typically the best values they're coming in at about like the 86 is not typically it's usually the 88 flashbacks but the 86s go for 70k so you divide that by 1340 you get 50 coins for training that's pretty bad to be completely honest with you i would not recommend those now 87s come in at approximately about 80k when I filtered it before, about 80k. So 80k divided by 1,860 is 43 coins per training. Again, that's one of the better ones. So if you can find Gerald McCoy's and a lot of other flashback slash heavyweight pieces on flashback and heavyweight content, uh, those will be pretty good options. But I typically like the 88s. Now the 88s right now aren't the best only because there's nothing that's come out yet. But 117 for an 88 when you divide that by 264 2640 you get about 42 coins per now if you can wait till legend saturday and or heavyweights and or flashbacks they go for about between 100k and 110k and when that drops they're in the 30 range and they are the best value in the game so for the time being the 85s kind of to steal the show as far as the best training options but if you wait for legend saturday content such as heavyweights and flashbacks you could typically find 88s within the 30 range as the best training value far and away in the game now let's go over to the 89s Again, the 89s are also another sneaky pick if you wait for Legend Saturday. They're not horrible. But remember, if they're close by a few coins per, don't go selling to get the better option, right? Like, if you have a bunch of 80s and you want to get training, sell the 80s because they're so far and away the worst option that you're better off waiting. But, like, let's say you have an, 80, an 89, right? And they, they, they sell... 89s are about at... Let's see. 89s for 160-ish. Divide that. You get that as... For 3,570 training, you get approximately 46 training per. So 88s are now at 44. On Legend Saturday, they'll probably be both low 40s, high 30s. So for the difference of two coins per, you're probably better off just wait. Um, like let's say you have a Marvin Harrison, right? Would it be smart to sell Marvin Harrison and then go buy an 88? Not exactly, unless you only need the 88s amount, which is 2,640. Because with the coins you're going to lose in reduction, that kind of already kills what you were going to save like the 10k 16k you're going to lose in reductions kills the money you were saving by getting the more efficient option so you always have to factor in the reduction to it like how much are you going to be losing on top of that so always make sure to factor that in by when you sell it also let's finish the let's finish the let's finish the chart and i'll give you guys my little tips on training in a second now the 90 overalls come in at about 241 you divide that by 4940 and you get 48 i have not updated this chart yet for the 91s but that's because the 91s are so expensive i already know they're not even close to the best option lamar jackson's actually up in price right now that's pretty cool you can make some coins back on him when i have to sell them but obviously these kickoff 91s are way too expensive to be damn near the best option i don't even bother with them it's not even considerable they're, they're too expensive right now because of how hard it is to get one of them from doing these sets now guys my tips for training is always buy what you need unless you have a ton of coins and you like buying in bulk because think about it this way right if you need let's say a thousand training right a thousand training would it be smarter to buy an 88 uh, for 2,640 training? Because an 88 will cost you about 120K right now. Or if you just need 1,000 training, you could buy two 83s for 20K. You'll probably end up spending like 48K total for 1,000 training. Or you spend 120K total for 2,640. Now, the 84s are only a worse option by one coin. So obviously, you're getting the better value with the 88s. But the one coin difference, is it worth making like, I'm saving like four or 5K? in the long term when in reality you're spending an extra 70k it's like that old thing of like you go to the store and it's like buy one pair of jeans get the other one 20 percent off and it's like oh that's a good deal because the other jeans will be cheaper but the jeans go for 70 dollars so you buy that pair you spend 70 and then you get the other one half off or something and then it's like oh i spent 100 dollars, but i got this one half off but then you spend 100 dollars. so like you spend a lot more than you saved obviously it makes sense if you want two pairs of jeans but right now if you only want a thousand training is it worth it to go buy let's say an 89 for 160k to get that good training value not exactly because you don't need that much now for me being a content creator that's always using training and always playing madden it makes sense for me to always buy in bulk because obviously the best value for me will be good because i'm gonna always need a lot of training but more no money spend teams and budget teams you guys don't have the coins to just throw away like that because you guys don't be, you're not buying packs and buying coins obviously so always stay on top of that 
Do not be fooled by just the best value. Always buy what you need using the best value. And that's very easy to do considering 84s and 85s are some of the best values in the games. 85, coincidentally right now, is the best value in the game. So for that reason alone, I'd recommend sticking to 85s no matter what you do. Obviously, because you're getting a good training value, you can get it for cheap, and you get what you need being by 1,000 increments. Now, right, guys, that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Hopefully, we get over 8K today. Comment down below what you guys have been buying for training. Make sure to like the video. Let's get this to 200 likes. Turn on the noti bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.